Let's take a look at how to export your emails outside of your QuickBooks Online account. So first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a list inside QuickBooks that's either a customer or a vendor. And if you want all your emails out, we're going to need to create two reports, a customer contact list and then a vendor contact list. Here we go. Let's demo this. So I'm in a sample company with fictitious emails here, and I'm going to share with you how to get the customer emails out. So let's begin. First, go to reports. And then on the reports section, um, all versions of QuickBooks Online are going to come with the customer contact list. So we'll click there. And here we have a column that has all the emails here. Stretch it out and we will see that right there. Okay. Um, if you wanted to take this information and pull it out and put it inside Excel, but you wanted to also maybe split out the state field so that way you could filter uh, California by itself because right now it's kind of all mixed in here. We would need to go to the Customize tab. And then off of here, we would click Change Columns. So for sure, we have an email. I'm going to move that to number two. And then I'm going to show you that all of these fields here can be broken out as individual columns. So there it might be a billing state. Billing street, billing city, billing country, that kind of thing. First name, last name, if you have those records there. All of this information is available as well. Website, phone, last modified by would be the user inside QuickBooks Online that made, it, made the last change and update for that record. Okay, so here we have everyone here and then from here it's just a matter of looking for the export button sometimes it's hard to see if you're like over here you're like where, where do we export this you got to scroll all the way to the right click on the little export button and then export to microsoft excel you also may have google sheets if you're using quickbooks online advance you'll have a google sheets uh, tab as well all right, similarly, um, for reports, we can go to the vendor contact list, and that's going to be under reports, vendor contact list. Little tip here if you click the little green star, uh, it will then be promoted to the favorites. So here's my favorites section. These are the three defaults, and I've got vendor contact list. I can click here. And I have um, something interesting here. In this case, we have two emails. You know, I'm going to open up National Eye Care. It's possible you can have more than one email separated by commas. So you would need to um, do some other tricks in Microsoft Excel to split, separate those by commas outside. And I'm going to export this as well here it's a little bit easier to see export to excel let's open that up enable editing all right so if you knew that you had several emails that were split what you would need to do is make a selection of your email column and then you would need to go up to the data tab and click text to columns delimited by a comma next and roll it over yes okay so you can see how it broke out email one email two right here just make sure you have enough space for it to slide by once you've discovered that it's good then you could squeeze these back together, I suppose, and bring it out here. So that's email one, email two, and 
that is how you do that. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, have you backed up your QuickBooks Online lately? What happens if if you make it a mistake and you went in and somebody um, deleted something here, you know, or had a W9 attachment and you deleted it? What what where does that go? How would you get that back? So I recommend that you should look into Rewind. It is a company that backs up your QuickBooks online accounts. You have the ability to go into Rewind Vault and find an individual transaction. So maybe you spent a lot of time on an estimate and you deleted it and you don't want to re have to type that over again. You could go into Rewind and restore that, in that information back over. So it is definitely um, a very powerful tool one that I endorse and enjoy having peace of mind having my QuickBooks Online uh, backed up. And so I'll put a link in the chat room if you're interested in setting up a, a Rewind trial so you can uh, connect your QuickBooks Online to Rewind and have the ability to pull out with a granular effort a specific transaction or restore to a certain point of time in the past. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your day and see you on the next video.